pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Okay, let's look at this illustration. This is a major illustration here. Okay, now we just saw a moment ago the illustration of how the computer was the source of all power. Now in looking at this illustration, this has to do with the multiple personalities. Here in both cases, the usual personality arrangement and the multiple personality arrangement, in both cases, you have a non-physical being, which is the source of power where all action really happens. That's just like the computer on the other illustration. Then as you come down, you have the program level. Now at the program level, you have the two layers once again. You have the main program, which would be like the music player. In this case, the main program is a human body in a specific sex. That's the main program. It's a human body that's specifically, in this case, a male. That's the main program. Now, in the usual personality arrangement where you only have one personality, you have, from that main program, you have the meanings and beliefs, and that dictates how the representing body, how the resulting body representation is. Now, with a multiple personality, you have the main program, just like we saw in the, the uh, music player, which is a human body, a male human body. That's the main program. Then you can see here it's got five different personality settings or five different faces or five different personalities, five different meaning sets, meanings and belief sets. Now, in one of these meanings and beliefs, that human body, that male human body could have high blood pressure, could have bad eyesight, could have some scars, could like to eat this and be allergic to that. That would be the meaning and beliefs. That would be the first one. Then the second one, even though they might be in a male body, that second personality might believe it's female. So even though it's in a male body, it's expressing female type thinking, female type personality traits. And that person might have, that personality might have great eyesight, might not be allergic to anything might be really good at this or that, okay? Then as you see, each of these personalities, some have diseases, some don't, some have good eyesight, some don't, some have scars, and some don't. Whatever it is, that's the meanings and beliefs level. So whichever personality that is resonant, that is resident, that is in force, that is being elicited at that moment, that meaning and belief set, that grouping, that set of meanings and beliefs, then will automatically represent a body. You'll have a resulting body representation. Now, if you change the set, the group of meanings and beliefs, then immediately you have a different resulting body representation because it is the meanings and beliefs that dictate how that body is represented. Does it have diseases? Does it have good eyesight? Does it have bad, bad eyesight? Is it allergic to this, allergic to that? Good at this, good at that. Whatever that set of meanings and beliefs are, that's how the body represents itself. Now, you see, that's very, very much like the computer illustration we just saw, where you have the computer, which is the source of all power, where all action really happens. Then you have your major main program. In the computer example, it was a music player. In this example, it's a male body, a human male body. Then you have the next level, which are the meanings and beliefs, which are how that main program is going to be represented. And from that 
set of beliefs, from that set of meanings, from that, that group of meanings and beliefs, that particular group is being elicited and is then activated and is then in force and then being the major source of what the represented body is going to be, bam, it presents the body based on how it knows the body to be. And each one of those different personalities presents, represents, creates a different body. It's the same major plan. It's the same basic major format, which is the male human body. But from there, it's represented with some specific tailorings and specific diseases or specific abilities, specific infirmities, specific wellness. That goes to show you, the most important thing, here it says at the bottom here, the resulting body representation is the level of your awareness. That's where you see what's really going on right there. When the person changes, then suddenly you notice their eye color is different. Scars that were there are no longer there. Now they have high blood pressure, or now they don't. Now they have diabetes, or now they don't. Now they need glasses, or now they don't. That, that's your level of awareness. That's when you know that a different set of meanings and beliefs is now being activated, is now being elicited, is now in force. Now, as soon as you change that group of meanings and beliefs to a different group of meanings and beliefs, you have a different body representation. What's so significant about this illustration is that here on the usual personality arrangement, you have one set of meanings and beliefs. So all that means is, is you're always eliciting the same group of meanings and beliefs. If you created a whole other set of meanings and beliefs and were able to elicit them without your knowing, which that's a tricky thing to do, but these multiple personality people, they did it under extreme duress. They were being sexually abused or somehow tortured or terrified or whatever, and they managed to split off like that. Okay, But if you were to change your meanings and beliefs, just like they do, you would have an immediate, different resulting body representation. Now notice, you can't change the body representation. Here on the multiple, if the person's got blue eyes, one does, and the other one has brown eyes, then here at the body, what if you wanted, if you had blue eyes, what if you want to change it to brown? You'd have to have some kind of an operation. But if you just change your meanings and beliefs, the representation is different. Here the person may have diabetes, and the minute he changes to another person, the diabetes is gone. So how do you treat something like that? How do you treat something like that? person's got diabetes, they can be taking medicine all their life, they switch personalities, now they're perfectly healthy. What does that prove? That proves that if you change your meanings and beliefs, pick out the ones you want. Just like this multiple personality, he's got all these different things. Pick out the eye color you want. Pick out the fact that you don't want any disease, no high blood pressure, no diabetes, you want perfect eyesight. Pick out the different things you want for your meanings. Create that set of meanings and beliefs as the master program for your body's representation. Oh, by the way, add in don't age. Add in immortal in physical form. Now, we're already immortal in the non-physical form. Why not be immortal in the physical form? Hey, you don't have to age. Aging is a thought process, not a physical process. In fact, by the way, these multiple personality people... They don't age as fast as we do. And I think one reason why is because aging is a perception of time. As we perceive that time is going by, and there's no time more that we perceive that than when we're having a birthday. But as we perceive that time is going by, we have an idea in mind of what that means body-wise, of what that means aging-wise. But you see, with the multiple personalities... No one personality is in force or activated or elicited for any great length of time. So for the amount of time that any given personality is present or being expressed, they don't perceive that much time has gone by because they haven't been, <laughs> they haven't been out there for much time. So their aging slows way down because they're not perceiving 
the amount of time passing that we perceive. So they're not aging themselves in the way that we age ourselves. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 10, Segment Number 33. Let your quest for knowing, continue.